this one first. Sure. Um, I have a request here to um, slightly change the order of the um, uh, action items to bring item C, the patron ban, um, um, to be our first item for discussion. Um, mm -hmm. The materials are located be behind um, tab 8. Um, I'm sure you've all had a chance to review mm -hmm. the materials and the incident which was, you know, set forth in those materials. Uh, is there anything that anyone would, Heather, or anyone like to add a discussion with respect to that? I'm recommending a year ban. A one-year ban. Um, and we and we can revisit it. And I mean, legally we can't do longer like lifetime bans, but um, we can do a year. And a year at a time is good because then you revisit it and it keeps you um, vigilant and focused on mm -hmm. on the issue. So. I have a question. So w does the year run from the incident date or from? Um, he had the the they had the one month ban until today. Until today. It would run from today. Today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so um there's anything further? Do we need to vote on this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um you know, I would uh, move that we. And was a police report um, for, uh, filed or not? I wasn't, wasn't sure. Police report was filed, was, but okay. uh, the uh, uh, staff charges. member yeah, did not. opted not to okay, press for their okay. charges. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, okay. okay. So we have, um, I would move that um, the patron, um, uh, Matthew uh, Burns, be uh, excluded from the library for one year. Could I get a second on that? I second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. All right. Um, then we will move on to um, the um, uh, the first Comcast item, contract. item A, Comcast contract for fiber networking service. We're going to go, the proposal is to go fiber. Uh, that's located behind tab six. Um, To some extent, that's self-explanatory, you know, that's <laughs> sort of the way of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, but Heather, would you like to talk to that a little bit about? about? Yeah, um, we did get um, bids from both AT&T and Comcast. Um, Comcast came in slightly lower. Um, it, uh, and also Comcast is our current provider. Mm -hmm. So that has added advantages, of course. Um, and um, the service agreement is approximately, was it 1500 a month? 1580 uh -huh. uh, 1580 correct. Uh, it is a 36-month commitment uh, contract. Uh, it is a significant increase in terms of costs. Uh, we currently pay around 400 a month, so mm -hmm. it is a big leap. Um, however, it, I feel that the way our it, it's infrastructure and the way our library is used now is constant traffic mm -hmm. of uh internet and particularly our wi-fi connections are just exploding with traffic mm -hmm. and um our system is feeling that uh, we have significant number of outages frequent outages mm -hmm. and that is a service interruption that nobody wants um and we want to make sure that that's is minimized so fiber is a good way to do that uh so it's and it's it's much more reliable at speedy it's um and it's ours so that you know there isn't surrounding traffic on our fiber line mm -hmm. uh, so we have better coverage in the basement that was yeah yep. because that was the, in the comments yeah yeah, yeah. Um, exactly I mean, it's certainly true that i mean it's a new thing that a patron does i do it you know come in both you know, among other things, check yourself on. Oh, let's yeah. connect to the library, and mm -hmm. uh, obviously that's a change from what one might have done five, ten, fifteen years ago. So, mm -hmm. and it happens automatically with Wi-Fi roaming turned on. I mean, people walking with their phones. A lot of times they're, they automatically right. connect. So, yeah. So that it, that is a big change, and um, 
And fiber costs have gone down significantly. I mean, this is actually a lot better than it was even a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a good time. And when will it be up and running? Um, I think they said something like six weeks, you okay. know, from and is point. There, do they have to do a lot of equipment and installation, or is it basically you know, the fiber is just outside the library and then we just have to hook it up? And, uh, yeah, I don't know oh, okay. all the details of that. I nope. know that it, they're going to try to put it on the existing power line okay. out here. Okay. So presumably it wouldn't be that extensive. They, they have estimated uh, service install. date on July 1st. Oh, okay. I think we told them, you know, for the new fiscal year, I think that was, uh, yeah. Plus, they, do they have to dig? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I guess this needs to be a roll call vote. Um, yeah, I'll motion that we. I don't know if we have to approve an expenditure for the whole amount, which is would be under sixty thousand dollars for the. If I did the math right, it was. It's. it's uh, no, I did. I think oh, you monthly? just oh, do the contract. Oh, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. And I said my math was off. It's, it's not that much. It's, uh, Can I get a second on that? I second it. For, okay. For three years. Yeah. Yeah, for three years. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Start call the roll Trustee George. Aye. Trustee Wolf, yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. And Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Um, signage. Sir Beth mentioned that a little bit um, in her presentation, something that she is working on. Um, this is a company that we contracted with to do the design and do the proposal last fall. And um, now they're coming back with having figured out what we should have. Now they're coming back with a proposal to do some of the installation, the design installation. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, and um, in your packets last month, you had a sample of the signs that we were purchasing. Um, mm -hmm. So we talked about this already, but um, this is phase one of the fabrication and installation. It is the vast majority of the signage is in phase one. It includes all the directional signs, all the informational signs, elevator signs, mm -hmm. uh, all the overhead uh, collection, you know, larger collection signs. All of that is included in this uh, proposal. The phase two um, would be an additional approximately $8,000 beyond this, um, but phase two is shelf end signs and I wanted to wait with that because we are going to be moving collections. Mm -hmm. We are talking about doing interior space planning. Mm -hmm. um, so it's better to wait. Yeah, I'd like to wait a little bit till we have a better handle on where the mm -hmm. collections are going to be uh, before we do the shelf end signs, but that is in phase two. We have the design ready to go whenever we're ready for that. Is there going to quote on that cost for phase two? It or? will be approximately eight thousand, but you don't have to vote on I that one tonight. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Um, so we've got the Poblaki contract down here. Uh, the quote of twenty-two thousand eight hundred and thirty-six. Could I get a motion from I'll somebody? Motion that we uh, vote to approve the expenditure of twenty-two thousand, uh, not to exceed twenty-two thousand nine hundred dollars for Poblaki sign. Um, for phase one. For phase one. And I second it. Uh, it's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Um, Stuart. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. And Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. All right. Um, CBI quote for IMAC module. Why don't you talk about this one? This one I'm. This uh, one's new. Yeah. Yeah. It came through, and I could have waited till the next board meeting, but I thought, well. It's kind of a shame to wait a month. So because it's over five thousand, barely, but it's five thousand two hundred eighty-four uh, for policy needs to come before the board. But um, basically, what this is is um, we got IMAX, and but we need to be able to put them. Uh, onto our print system and to be able to reserve them through our computer reservation system. Mm -hmm. Because it's an Apple environment, it needs to have its own server environment so that it won't basically uh, have the risk of contaminating our staff server environment. So that's what all of this is for, is for those additional modules which allow us to um, have more Apple products in the library um, seamlessly without it impacting our existing um, PC environment. And, and so where will many be located? 
uh, youth services, okay. and one in the teen room. Okay. Um, we really uh, felt it was important to make sure that we have the same equipment the kids are using in school. Mm -hmm. And schools are, of course, very Apple-based. We're traditionally more PC-based here at the library, but um, I think we can do both. We just mm -hmm. need to figure out some of the solutions to being able to do that, mm -hmm. and that means this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So is it basically just like a separate system? Or? Yeah, it's a virtual server, so it's mm -hmm. a separate server. Um, and so that every all the traffic goes through that rather mm -hmm. than through the, the PC server. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many are you buying? IMAX? Mm -hmm. uh, three. Okay. The IMAX are already bought, the machines themselves. This is the Just modules about, yeah. to ensure that the machines can work effectively. So PC reservation uh, and printing, print release, as well as a staff management module. So how long can someone check it out or use it? Or is it a... We are changing our computer rules. We're, we're testing to see what we can do. I. Um, I'm not in favor of 30-minute sessions. I feel like it kind of causes a lot of stress when people are trying to get it all done in 30 minutes. So mm -hmm. we tried two-hour computer sessions for a couple weeks, and we took notes about that, and that seemed a little too long because mm -hmm. we had some longer wait times near the end of the day. So now we are going to try an hour. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, could I get a motion to approve sure. the CVI contract I'll here? motion that we... Uh, Approve the CVI contract for not to exceed fifty-three hundred dollars. I seconded. Moved and seconded. Uh, any further discussion? Um, all in favor of approving these? Well, I think it roll call. Pid? Is it roll call? Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. No, just thank you for paying attention. Money so, roll call. Yeah. 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 Okay. Money uh, roll call. Trustee Absolutely. George. Aye. I'll throw, Trustee O'Laughlin. I'll throw, throw it back to you. Aye. Uh, Trustee McDonald. Aye. <laughs> Trustee Wolf. Yes. Change it up a bit. Um, <laughs> Sorry, second that. Lisa, Lisa, I did. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. McDonald. Discussion items. Um, and that's the landscaping which we've got for a short discussion. But really, the discussion um, will really take place. The landscape. Meeting. Steering committee. And if any if anybody can come, other trustees can come, I think it would be good that as many people come as can. So it's March seventh at uh, ten AM. Yeah, I mean the intention is at that me meeting to sort of really drill down on the to uh, costs. Um, and the scope. You know, the the scope um, staging, you know, when would we do it? Um, maybe there's some trade-offs, some things that, you know, maybe we want this and maybe we don't want that or maybe we want it but maybe later. Um, mm -hmm. Really try to get some Just a better hopefully concept. Mar marching right. And, and I, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that we can come up with a, a higher degree of confidence of what we want to do at that meeting. Because mm -hmm. I think that so far, I haven't sense that. Yeah, this is what we're gonna we want to do. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I, and I think the committee really liked the design a lot. So I think mm -hmm. the issue is not so much with that; it's with trying to cut costs. Mm -hmm. Is my impression. Uh, well, but I, I do think that there are certain aspects of the design that that we will that maybe people aren't as favorable towards. I mean, I think as a whole, it's it's great. But there just might be things that are, you know, maybe not as necessary or some of the more essential stuff. Right. Um, right. Um, but you know, like you said, we'll talk about it at the landscape. So, and then, so, so um, but I'd encourage any other trustees who are here tonight. Yeah, or I'm going to be out of town. I'll put my thoughts. Can okay. I I'll send you an email? With right. My yeah, absolutely. Do that. And when so is the meeting? When is it is March seventh at ten a.m. Wednesday, March seventh at ten a.m. Be there or be square. Okay, March. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's also upcoming a another meeting, and that's on March 14th. Just to remind folks of, and that's a committee of the whole. Um, the reason we did it as a committee of the whole, or I did it as a committee of the whole, rather than 
trying to determine what committee it really belonged to mm -hmm. or creating a new committee. It just, you know, a chance for us to get together and go over the, uh, get a chance to meet Mike um, and go over um, the management um, salary competence and go over the details of that. So, all right. Snow melt? Did you want to hold that till? For me? The snow melt. That's part of the landscaping. That's part of the landscaping. You want to hold that till the meeting? Yeah, all of that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, director's report. Heather. Alrighty. So we hired an HR professional, Mike Boone. Um, he's been with us a little over two weeks, I guess. Uh, he's already hit the ground running. He has so much experience and already is, you know, he just, he knows what we need, so it's great. He came up with a new hire letter. He came up with workflow for um, recruitment, all sorts of things already, so I'm really excited. If you get a chance, um, and you're in the library, come on up and you can meet him. He's in um, the office next to mine. So, uh, and we did have a retirement, Leslie. Um, she retired from her full-time librarian position. She will still be here on and off on a very part-time basis. But um, because she retired her full-time position, we do need to hire uh, that replacement. So Betty and her team are working on 